Alright you guys, welcome back to Outlast. Now let's get this shit going. I just got dropped down by that fat guy over there. And I had a little talk with the nutcase priest of anything, so... Let's see what's going on. Let's quickly check the objectives here. Escape the asylum, access security control to unlock the main doors. Let's go find that security control. Is that over here? Maybe? What is this shit? What do you got for me, game? Merc of corporate, blah 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 blah, the matter of seizure of yada yada yada. You're satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. Alright, what the hell is this shit about, game? It does seem to be directly valuable to the progression of the game, that's what I was aiming at here. So hopefully you guys have enough time to pause the video if you wanted to see that, read that on your own time. I don't like that wheelchair over there. Oh. And neither do I like that shit. But I guess these guys are not really aiming for me here. What the hell's going on? That's freaky as fuck. Seems my nightmares are gonna be complete tonight. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, that actually scared me though. The hand popping here. But it's actually a nice detail, though. You gotta hand the game that. And more hands. What the hell is you guys, these guys doing here? Don't they know how to flush a toilet properly? Without corpses attached to that? Witness. Well, I don't want to witness that game. What do we got over here? I'm looking for batteries or anything. That'd be nice. Oh... What the hell is this shit? Are these, you know, like friggin' guts or something? Oh, the amount of blood in this game, Jesus, friggin' hell. Ah, oh, better read, give me that. Guess it's game over for these guys, though. Didn't I close this door? Or was there somebody here that closed it? I didn't hear that, actually. So let's go check this shit out over here. Oh yeah, of course. What did it say? The door needs a key card. No, well, there, where is the key card? Let's see. This guy went over here. Of course, he locked it. You know the pussy. Hey. Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. Who's some people? We didn't shoot this. Walker. Who is that guy? Is that the big guy? Sounds kind of walkery. Oh wow. Jesus. All oh, this blood. Let's see. What do we got here? Helen Granat. Dear sir, is the full report pending? No immediate action is required on the part of the Merck of Corporation. The profit potential of Project Wallride remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wildrider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increased, increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints have proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Granat, Merck of Legal Mitigation Department. So yeah, there we go. They're actually covering their asses in legal ways. So these guys are most definitely up to something, but... The question remains what it is. So let's go Sherlock Holmes that out, shall we? Really don't like that freaking wheelchair over there. Okay, but I get what the hell is that a guy over there? Oh, oh yeah, that's definitely a dude. That's alive and everything. The full package. Alright, well, let's see what's going on here. I really don't like the amount of light there is in this game, which is a complete absence of it. It's so freaking dark everywhere. But if I use this, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna eat up my batteries sooner than I can say hi.
All right. Well, I guess there's no, is there a battery there? No. Guess I'm just getting a bit battery delusional. And we got another note. Wow, this game's filled up with notes here. What is this? Oh, there we go. Project Wall Rider Page Status Report for Chris Walker. Hey, that's the kind of guy we were we just saw, Walker. There we go, H32. Morphogenic engine activity, yada yada yada. Diagnose interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Oh, well, this guy's got an enormous size. That's that's good to know, I guess. Extensive dermal eruptions are consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have so yada yada yada. Self mutilation. I see. I read all kinds of bad stuff here. Serving Afghanistan seemed to be retarding progression of the ME process. All right. So apparently this Chris Walker guy, he's kind of a nut job. But yeah, that doesn't surprise me in the least, guys. It doesn't even surprise me in the freaking least. I'm not real sure if I need to keep the camera out or not. Oh, can I actually? I can peek. Oh wait, I actually peeked a bit before, but I didn't really notice. Now I'm not really trusting this at all, cause I'm pretty sure if I go like past him, he's gonna grab me. Can I not jump over him? No. All right, you know what? I'm gonna actually momentum my ass. Make sure I got a bit of momentum going, and then there we go. Oh, seems I was wrong. Whoa. What is this shit? What the hell's going on? Broken man and dead television. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survive whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Yeah, I get the feeling nobody's home here, game, because, you know, you seem to be far away from it. Look at that guy, though. What the hell? He's missing his hands and everything. That's kind of freaking. What's up with that guy? Oh, he's just sitting there having a good time. I'll just leave him there, because I. I don't trust these guys at all. Not even a tiny bit of me. Just trusting these guys. Oh, that looks ominous. Oh, this game. Well, I guess nobody's home. Oh. Hey, there's a key card. Give me that shit. What, did this guy move? Oh. What is this? Inventory keycard for security control. So let's go back there. Oh, and now I'm pretty sure this guy in a wheelchair is gonna pop at me. I'm sure of it. Or one of these guys. I come in peace, guys. I come in peace. Better leave me. Oh, let me go and make some uh, some haste here. And then yada yada yada. No! Oh fuck! Work that mouse! Work that mouse, Dutchie! Come on! Yeah, you go crawling in the corner, yeah. you freaking pussy face. Oh, this game. I like the atmosphere though, I like the graphics, I think the sound is solid. It seems the whole game has a whole bunch of ingredients that are good for some good nightmares, I guess. Like a cocktail of scares going for us. But yeah, let's go check out what the hell's going on with that control center. Oh, what's over here, though? I guess this is gonna be locked. I'm not really sure. There we go. We'll get a nice painting going for us. At least they uh, have some taste. And what's up with these guys, actually? They don't seem to be a friendly kind of fellows. Yeah, and they have some weird eyes going for them. They don't seem to be great fun at parties. Let's uh, keep it at that, at least. Alright, let's open this up. Open up. Get down. To hide. 
What am I gonna hide from game? Is there anything to hide for? Hmm, I don't think so. They lie? Actually, my shadow actually scared me for a second there. I was like, oh fuck, someone's behind me, but that didn't happen. They lie, well. All right, he's doing his computer magic. No, 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 don't do that, son bitch. Don't. Oh, I'm gonna have to get him for that. Start the generator basement. Hide in the locker. All right, let's do that. If the game tells me I need to hide, I'm gonna hide. Oh, and just in time, it seems. What is going on? The big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for Chris Walker, ex-military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. Yeah, that makes me feel a lot better, game. Knowing that there's some kind of psycho murderer in front of me. I don't think there's many whores to be found in this place, dude. What is this guy even? Is he naked? Don't tell me he is naked. I'm not gonna sleep tonight, but I sure as I ain't gonna sleep tomorrow if that guy is naked. He's gonna last for quite a while. Alright, so let's see if I can... Oh wow. This guy. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess it's safe to go now. Wow, it's so dark all of a sudden. Is that a guy there? Oh, I'm just spacing out, it seems. Wow, it's way too dark in here. Jeez, that's freaking me out. I guess I need to go down then? Not real sure. Might as well check that out though. Restart to generate in the basement. Alright, let's go do that. Oh, I'm not sure if I want to do that, but I guess I got no other choice. Let's see if I can actually. Might as well keep my camera up in a, bit, in a second. I guess the game looks a little bit better that way. Or without, I mean. Again, J. I, press, I keep pressing the wrong buttons here. Uh, because the program, yada yada yada. Oh, CIA document even. Hypnotic experimentation research. Post hypnotic of the night before. Point of finger, evil sleep was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson. Now in a deep hypnotic sleep, and failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeded to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Now guys, that's some freaky shit right there if you're doing stuff you don't even know you're doing. So let's not hope that's gonna happen to us, because really I'm not looking forward to stuff like that. Oh, I can actually fall through it. I was like, maybe I can jump on top of it, but the guy just immediately goes on over it. So I guess that's okay. Who's there? It's a me. Oh, what? This? Oh my God! This guy wants. This guy wants to hurt me, doesn't he? Pretty sure he wants to. But you know, guys. Actually, before I'm gonna explore this piece of shit sewer that I'm in. I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode, alright? See you guys!